Are y'all ready for story time? I have some books for us to read today, for me to read to you. I'm going to wait for a few people to come on. It is, let's see what time it is, right at 2 o'clock. Hope everybody enjoyed their Mother's Day and were super sweet to their moms and grandmas if you were able to see your grandmas. I have a grandma in the nursing home and she um, is not allowed to have visitors, but I did go knock on her window and I was able to see her and she had a hard time seeing and a hard time hearing and um, so I had to speak real loud for her to know it was me, but I was so glad to see her. Hey, hey Trenton, how are you? Hey Leah, glad y'all could join. All right, so this morning, I have a Berenstein Bear book. I grew up with these books and um, I'm glad that I get to read one of these to you this morning. So I've got this book and I've got a little kids corner little thing I want to do with you. And then I've got this book right here and this is the Bible. And so I've got something that I want to read out of here for you this morning too, because we're gonna be talking about faith a little bit today. Uh, week before last, we talked about um, prayer, and then what did we talk about after that? Oh, thank you, Trenton. It is my birthday today, and for my birthday, uh, we're remodeling my kitchen, so I've had people over here um, working in my kitchen this morning, so I've um, that's a nice birthday treat. Hopefully getting my kitchen finished. Um, but we talked about different things. I'm trying to think. I just forgot what we talked about last week. Does anybody remember? Thank you, Leah. Um, I know we talked about prayer. And we talked about the Holy Spirit. And we talked about Jesus interceding for us. That's what we talked about last. Okay, so today, the Berenstein book that I want to read to you is called Faith Gets Us Through. So, have you ever heard the word faith? Well, we're going to learn about what faith is. In the Bible, I want to read to you uh, in Romans 10, chapter 10, verse 17, it says this. Faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the message about Christ, about Jesus, okay? So we need to have faith, and faith gets us through. Let's see what happens in this book about the Berenstein Bears, and this story and pictures are by Stan and Jan Berenstein with Mike Berenstein, and I think I'm saying that right. That's my accent, but... A whole family wrote this book. And even here, it says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. And that comes from Psalm 23. Today was a special day. The Bear Scouts were going to a spooky cave. They wanted to earn their cave, adme cave adventure merit badges. Scout sister said, I'm a little scared. And I'll show you that one page. So she was a little scared. Scout brother said, me too. Scout Fred said, as the Bible says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Spooky cave looked spooky. It looked like a big open mouth with B 
big, sharp teeth. Scout Papa said, come on, Scouts, don't be scared. All we need is a little faith. Let's earn those badges. Have you ever done something to earn a badge? Maybe Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts? Miss Susan, which is Trenton's grandma, taught me in Girl Scouts. I remember that long time ago. Mountain goats watched Papa, and the scouts go into the cave. Would you be scared to go in a cave? Scouts Papa, brother, sister, and Fred went in Spooky Cave. Papa said, if you have a question, just ask me. I know all about caves. Sister asked, what are these pointy things? Fred said, some of those pointy things grow up and some grow down. Papa said, yes, listen to this rhyme. Okay, I had to Google these words because I did not know them this morning. I didn't know how to pronounce them, but it says, Stalactites and stalagmites, only caves got them. Tights are up on top, mites are on the bottom. The scouts looked up, they looked down, God made amazing things. Then sister said, it sounds funny in the cave. Papa said, I know all about caves, so let me tell you. It sounds funny because there is an echo in the cave. Listen. Hello, Papa shouted. Hello. The scouts heard the sound bounce off the cave walls. And can you make an echoing noise? Hello, hello, hello. That's how it sounds in a cave. And the echo went on and on. Hello, hello, hello. But Papa forgot that noises in a cave can shake things loose. Be strong and courageous, Fred quoted from the Bible. And look out. Fred knows his Bible, doesn't he? Yipe, said Papa. A falling stalactite just missed him. Papa and the scouts went deeper into the cave. The scouts said a prayer to keep up their courage. Have you ever said a prayer when you're afraid? Soon they could not remember which way they had come. Sister asked, are we lost? Papa said, we are not lost. I know all about caves. So I left a trail of string. But Papa did not know a goat had followed them. The goat had eaten the string. They're in trouble. The scouts asked, what will we do? Papa said, never fear. I know all about caves. Papa got his finger wet. breeze, said Papa. That means there is another way out. Follow me. But Papa did not know about the stream in Spooky Cave. Yay! shouted Papa as he fell in the water. Lord help us, prayed the scouts. Down, down they went, down, 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 and out of Spooky Cave. God kept them safe. The scouts were back outside. I bet that was scary, not knowing where it was leading to. Papa said, here are your Cave Adventure Merit Badges. Fred said, our faith and prayer sure helped us get through. Sister said, it was fun. Brother said, just like a water slide. 
Have you ever been on a water slide? Scout Papa, may we go back in the cave, Fred asked. Papa said, Scouts, I know all about caves. I am glad you asked that question. The answer is, what do you think it's going to be? No! But the scouts were happy. They were happy they had faith. They were happy they had their badges. They were happy Papa knew everything about caves. Well, almost everything. I hope you enjoyed that book. Did you join me for Kids Corner yesterday during our... We have um, a Kids Corner during uh, our Sunday services. So this past Mother's Day, which was yesterday, I did a Kids Corner. And I had this fruit in my Kids Corner. Do you know what this is? An apple. That's right. And I talked about apples and how we can't find a perfect one. And I talked about moms and talked about how they're not perfect. They make mistakes. But God made both apples and moms and they're special. But I want to talk about something else. How apples are a part of God's creation. God created apples for our enjoyment and for our nourishment. Do you like peanut butter on your apples? Or chocolate? Those are good on apples. God put seeds inside apples so that they, that, bleh. let me start over. God put seeds inside apples so that we could plant and grow apple trees. And he created apple trees to grow more apples. What are some of your favorite treats that include apples? Maybe a fruit salad. Maybe, hmm, what's something else that's good with apples? I had a lady make an apple, apple cake, and it had nuts in it and apple. Ooh, it was so good. Some cinnamon on it. Ooh, so good. Every part of God's creation, from the sun to the tiniest insect, maybe an ant, do you know something smaller than an ant? All of them have a purpose. It's all part of the amazing creation God made for us, for you and for me. He gave us apples. What's something else he's given us? Flowers, animals, the sun, the moon and the stars. And he loves us. He did this to show us that he loves us. And just as God has a purpose for all things, he has a purpose for you. And you matter. God has given each of us talents. Have you ever heard that before? Maybe you've attended our talent shows and some boys and girls love to show their talents. But each of us has talents and gifts that are unique. We're not all the same. He has made plans for each one of our lives. He wants us to play a part in sharing his love with our friends, with our family, with people we go to church with, with uh, the grocery store person, or maybe it's the mailman or the trash truck driver. Whoever you come in contact with, you can show the love of Jesus to. Let's thank God for those blessings and ask him how we can use our gifts to glorify God. So we all have gifts. Maybe it's telling jokes. Maybe it's singing. Maybe dancing. Maybe acrobats. Lots of different gifts that we have. Reading, leading, teaching, a painting. They're all different gifts and there's so many more. So God made us all unique and all different, and that's the good thing. We don't want to all be alike. So I hope you enjoyed story time today. I look forward to meeting back with you next week. So we'll meet every Monday at 2 o'clock, 
and I'll read you different um, books and I hope you have enjoyed all of the ones I've picked out so far. And if you have a favorite book that talks about God, that tells people about Jesus, let me know. I'd love to read one of your favorite books if you have one. All right, will you pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this day, the beautiful weather outside, for our moms, for the, um, for the trees and the apples and all the things that you have created for us, Lord. Please be with us and watch over us. In your name we pray, amen. All right, I hope to see you real soon. Bye.